Well, new details tonight in the case where deputies say two 15 year olds escaped a transport van carjacked and then attacked a woman yesterday in Harrisburg. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy joins us now. Robin, such a wild series of events here, but Cabarrus County deputies tell you that there are even more disturbing parts to this story. Right, Morgan and Alicia, we've just learned that deputies say the suspects hit the victim with her own car after they stole it from her as they were driving away. The suspects are now facing a long list of charges, including common law robbery, larceny of a motor vehicle, assault with a deadly weapon, and escape. So I know she's very, very shaken up. I will. Yeah, I feel helpless. That was the 911 call a North Carolina Department of Public Safety guard made from this Lowe's Foods gas station parking lot Thursday afternoon. Deputies say two 15 year old juvenile inmates had just escaped his custody. The incident report from the sheriff's office says they broke out a window of the transport van while the van was stopped on Highway 49 in Harrisburg. They busted out. They were able to bust out of a van on 49 and run over here. The carjacking car, the victim still here. The 15 year olds were in court in Mecklenburg County and were being brought back by state detention guards to the Cabarrus Juvenile Detention Center in Concord. Investigators say the suspects ran to the Lowe's Foods gas station, shoved a woman to the ground, stole her car and hit her with it as they drove away. Yeah, they, they take off. They didn't care about her welfare at all. Investigators say after the juvenile inmates left Lowe's, they then ditched the car at an apartment complex in East Charlotte, grabbed another car, and were later caught Thursday night on Berkshire Boulevard after they slammed into a Charlotte Mecklenburg police vehicle. Right now, there's a state review underway into how the inmates got out of the van and whether they were secured when state guards left the Mecklenburg County Courthouse. State policy requires staff to put on handcuffs, a waist chain, and leg restraints on juveniles in transport. A staff member has to check the restraints at the pickup location to make sure they're applied correctly and double locked. Here's what the guard told 911 about the incident Thursday. We really didn't hook them back up. They brought them down from court all in restraint, so we didn't really deal with them. They, you know, we got them in the van. Didn't know they're going. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, nine one one. And deputies say the victim had minor injuries. I asked the Department of Public Safety what they have to say about the community's safety concerns following that escape. They say they take these situations seriously. That's why they're doing that review and that during the search for the suspects, they work closely with local law enforcement. Morgan.